When it comes to stews, ang mga Filipinos oh, talaga magaling dyan. Nag-spills ako for my outdoor shoot. Eh, ako din. Ba't kasi nagkakaroon ito kayo sa may kapitan? Eh, sino ba unang pumasok dito? Sino maaga? Wala ko laban dyan. Tara na po, alis na natin dito. Hindi, joke lang. Lab namin isa't isa. Sige. Sige, wala kang katabi. Atras na. Atras. Naman dyan. May laman pati. So today we're going around the metro to find out which kare-kare is the best. In my opinion. So today we're gonna go around the metro. Siguro mga three establishments that serve kare kare, but then different personalities. Like the first one that we're gonna go to be an establishment that made it as far as London. Si pimo medyo international na rin yung stu natin yan. The second one is homegrown. It's a small home business. The last one would uh, they've been around for a very long time. So yeah, I'm very excited. So we're going to Romulo Cafe. Right now, it has three branches here in the Philippines. QC, Alabang, and I think in Makati. But did you know that they also have a branch in Kensington High Street over at London? So, shall! So, Romulo Cafe actually is run by third generation already. If I had to describe Kare Kare to you, I'd say that it's a rich, and creamy stew that has a very prominent peanut flavor and that strong broth that we use to tenderize our oxtails or tripe and whatever beef part you put in it to. And of course, there's the steamed vegetables and bagoong because that really complements the savory and peanutty flavor. Usually, kare kare is eaten with rice since it's already packed with meat, veggies, and a thick soup. As you can see, it's not as smooth as your usual kare kare. And that's because they actually grind their own rice and that's what they use as thickener, which is what we use traditionally anyway. And so at first, I saw the prices on the menu. I didn't think it's a bit much. But then, pagla pag nila ng food, that it was packed with tripe and oxtail. Now, ito yung sinasabing family serving talaga. Standard sitaw, pechay, talong, wow, yun, kanilang bagoong. So, tikma muna natin without bagoong. Yung usual na ginagawa ko kapag kumakain ako ng kare-kare sa labas. To be honest, the fact na hindi siya smooth actually reminds me of the more traditional kare-kare. I mean, well, obviously, ako, my preference is a smoother sauce or smoother soup. Some people would really love this. Mm. I think it's time to move on to uh, another place that serves an heirloom kare kare recipe. Uh, this business was started by two couples during the pandemic and they are called Ia's Kare Kare. Well, we're on our way to Ia's Kare Kare. They are an online business, but they were nice enough to let me in. It was April 2020. Mm -hmm. Para nag lang kami mag ng kare, kare Tapos, nung time na nagpaturo ako sa lola kong mag -kare -kare. So ano siya? Heirloom recipe yes, talaga? Yes, yes. Tapos, tinuto ako. Tapos, sabi niya, buong masura pa. Ganyan. <laughs> I even posted sa Facebook na wala akong ka-IDA idea. At ang caption ko pa nun is parang first time po magluto, para ay eh, ang sarap, parang ganyan. So, pinost ko, gano'n. Yeah. Tapos, we were living then at a condo. Mm -hmm. Nung time na yun, so yung sa mga condo, yung mga marketplace. Ah, yeah, yung survivor groups. Oo, oh, oh, <laughs> yun, gano'n, yeah. diba? So, in-offer ko, without thinking of, wala, anong mangyayari? Nagulat ako na, uy, may umorder ah, parang gano'n. Never in my wildest dream na parang mag-e-evolve to into It's something okay. like, up until now, two years na parang ganito. It's still small, pero ngayon parang mas marami nang na-uncle na. We're not saying na nandun na kami. Hopefully, one day, ma-abot. Actually, this guy over here, siya yung pinaka 
ano namin, critic namin Talaga. sa kare-kare. Automatic yan. Kapag sinabi niyang masarap, masarap. Talaga. For me, ganito yung perfect na pagkaka-tenderize ng meat. When it still keeps its form. Mm -hmm. ano Chef, bagoong. Ay, of course. They also make the bagoong. How many times do you have to make your bagoong since you make it by batch? Malaki kasi yung... Once a week, I do it once a week. Pero malaki siya. Honest, honest, yeah. honest feedback, yeah. ha? <laughs> Bowing-bowing. <laughs> It's really good, man. Really? No, oh, thank you. Ay, wala pang bagoong. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you. you. Alam mo, hindi ako naniniwa lang 2019 ka lang naluto magluto. Um, natuto magluto. Nakakadama! Siguro it runs sa kanila. Hindi, totoo naman. Hmm. Wala na akong ititira sa'yo, Julius. Passing pa na lang tayo, ha? Marami pa doon, right? Ang sarap. Grabe. So, uh, you guys can order from ES Kare-Kare. We'll just put that in the description somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baka kasi magsabi tayo ng Facebook tsaka number. Weird. So, mamaya. So, I'm not gonna wait until we get back to the office. This really is one of the best Kare-Kare that I've had. Trust. Trust. <laughs> Kahit hindi ito tinapay trust. Uh, so we are here at our last stop. This place is called Cafe Juanita. It's full of trinkets. It's a sobrang interesting ng lugar. And, you know, this place is actually described by Time Magazine as a place where the food is as close to home cooking as it can get. And also another thing, it's proudly Filipino, naturally home cooked, but made contemporary. I'm very excited to try the kare, -kare especially since binanggit sa akin that they have the main focus dun sa Trinity. Na feeling ko dapat focus naman din ang lahat ng hospitality business, which is service, food, and the ambience. Naku, lambot! It's so tender! Okay, halo-halo tayo ng gusto. But of course, perfect yung merong balance ng gulay, oxtail, tripe, di ba? And syempre, itong bagoong. Yan ang maganda dito sa bagoong nila. Well, tulad din naman ng mga pinuntahan natin today. They actually process it themselves. They cook it here. They get the raw materials and have their own formulation or like own recipe for it. Tikma muna natin as is. Mmm! Big ganito siya ka tender. Now, this is what you call fork tender. Hindi siya nasira, as in buo pa rin yung mass niya, yung shape niya. Pero you can use the back of a spoon or even just your fork. Sobrang solid. Sobrang sarap. Mmm! Ito yung kapag ano, pwede mong dalhin sa kahit anong potluck, panalo ka talaga. Sobrang lambot ng oxtail, ang sarap ng tempe ng sabaw. May onting tamis, onting savory. Nakukumpleto yung seasoning niya when you eat it with their bagoong. Hindi ko na to siya share akin na to. <laughs> So we've gone through three of the best karikares here in Metro Manila, according to our, our sources. And I'm about to give my verdict, but before that... Karen! Huwag ka magalit, everyone. Ganito lang talaga kami ni Julius. Iyas karikare, yung pinakamasarap. <laughs> Kare-kare will always be one of our go-to Filipino dishes, and I can definitely see why. Savory, comforting, loaded with meat and vegetables, and best of all, it will always remind us of our mom's or Lola's cooking. Iyas Kare-kare wins this one for me, but do give the others a try as well and let us know whose Kare-kare is the best for you.